rock music here in Sri Lanka is getting increasingly popular, Deshan. That's quite true, Suramya. And uh, right now we are at a musical concert called Rock Saturday, an event which takes place once a month and organized by a group of rock music enthusiasts who call themselves the Rock Company. So let's move on, Deshan, and enjoy the show. Good evening, my dear. Rock Company was a club that existed uh, in the, the late 70s where a few musicians got together and we started a thing called Rock Company then and to, to support musicians to develop uh, musically. Um, well, there were about eight bands at that time and with the with the band members going abroad for greener pastures, uh, the rock company eventually, after about two years, it went defunct. Uh, but in 2003, I went for a concert where I saw a lot of bands were pursuing originality. And when I saw this, I thought I should give these boys an opportunity to develop original music in this country. So I revived Rock Company so that we can help these young musicians today develop something original. There was no support for original music. It was only the bands only playing covers, covers of you know other people's songs. So when when I saw these bands, young bands, youngsters, maybe they were 19, 20 at that time. Uh, pursuing original music, I was very glad and, and I started on my own to help them by setting up rock company and we support uh, development of originality from from that point on. Rock company to non-profit. All the profits we make from our rock Saturday revenue is put back in rock company to upgrade the studio, to upgrade better equipment so that these bands have a, a good place to practice. Our next step is we are setting up a studio uh, so that we can record our own original tracks so that these bands can actually cut a CD for free. We have just come up to the, the third year anniversary. 29th of July we are having a concert at the Gatsby's. Uh, we are having a, a huge concert with, uh, with about eight bands playing and it's going to be one of the big happening events uh, in town our third year anniversary. So we have existed for th three years now. We have finished three years and we are going on the fourth year. Stigmata is a Sri Lankan rock group who is arguably one of the most prominent pillars in the contemporary local rock music scene, with two albums to their credit as well as international exposure through playing concerts overseas. We started in early 2000. We met in college and uh, Tenny Andrew and myself started the band and we had two other members and when we started off there was only bands like Rattlesnake and Venom uh, that played rock music and there was Independent Square that played their own music and that actually inspired us to uh, start composing. Music industry in Sri Lanka has always had this perception that in order for you to be revered or respected as a musician, you have to play in clubs and pubs and play other people's music. As much as that is a good thing and it's a learning curve, we are really, really not opening up the doors for anyone in this country, anyone in the future generations to really, really make it international. We feel very strongly that we have stuck to our guns and a couple of other bands have also stuck to their guns and thanks to organizations like Rock Company and a lot of electronic press and media who have supported and encouraged us. We have actually managed to not just hone our sound, but do something, create something of our own. And I mean, the opportunities are just, just spectacular. Uh, you can't uh, uh, 
think of music in a financial sort of way as well because you have to uh, make music your main priority and then comes the money and we don't believe in doing covers uh, other people's songs and earning money out of that uh, we just like to do what we do the first record we recorded and we released in 2003 and it helped us to break into the local market and show people that we are forced to be reckoned with uh, in terms of doing something that was original, in terms of doing something that's different in the heavy metal stratosphere. The new record, which is titled Silent Care Serpentine, was launched this year uh, at my kind of place. We launched it in February. It's leagues away from the first one in, in, in terms of the songwriting and in terms of the production. And this record has been really, really received well overseas. And it's because of this record that we've actually got an opportunity to actually go abroad and tour. And we just got back from a very successful tour in Maldives. When we started out, the first gig we played, it was like uh, around five or six people. <laughs> well, it's taken a long time to come to this position, you know. There have been times where to play in front of you know, five, ten people, but now look at it. And it feels really cool, you know. Uh, fans are headbanging to your own songs and they are enjoying what, what you are doing. Like, this is our original music, so the it's crowd, the, yeah, the crowd provokes us all the time. What we aspire to do with our music is to actually help people realize that you don't really necessarily have to conform to what people expect from you. You don't have to conform to, uh, say, a fashion ethos or a fashion cycle where, you know, people just, in this country, they just follow things which they think is just popular or trendy. They go to a nightclub because it's fashionable. They wear what other people wear because it's fashionable. You can actually just be yourself. You can really, really, really be individualistic. And, you know, you can be yourself and you can actually honestly maintain your self-integrity and have a good time. And that's what we have to do.